Welcome back to the channel. I thought I would tell you about one of the most outrageous scams that I've ever come across in my line of work. So there was this one company who was taking payments on behalf of another company, sort of an invoice and payment processing company, a third partner, if you will, to the company selling the products. They were obviously agreeing the price for the products with the end customer, and then they were obviously invoicing the end customer and taking the money for the end customer, which in turn would be passed on to the company selling the products. However, what they were doing and what nobody knew for a very long time is that instead of just actually billing the customer's card for the amount on the invoice, for the amount that was agreed to pay for the products supplied by the other company, this third party payment processing company was adding an arbitrary amount to the sum charged. Some 30 pounds, 40 pounds, 50 pounds, 80 pounds in some cases, and routinely just charging an extra amount over and above what the customer had agreed to pay. It transpired that only those customers that complained that the amount was wrong would immediately get a refund for the balance, saying that there'd been an administrative error, and they got the refund. But it turns out some time later that many, many thousands of pounds over and above what had been agreed with the customers had been taken from those customers' cards. Now, I don't need, uh, hopefully, to say that this is outright fraud in a number of respects. First of all, it's fraud against the consumer, the customer, because their card has been charged with an amount more than they'd agreed to pay. But also because the amount that this company retained was over and above what they should have retained on behalf of the company for whom they were taking payments for, because they had agreed with the other company a set commission structure, a percentage, which is perfectly normal. Some companies will pay a retainer, a set fee per month for them to do this kind of service. Other companies will pay a percentage. So there will be a percentage deducted from all the payments taken that this payment processing company will retain. But this is one case of outright fraud. So the lesson you can take from this is whenever you make a payment to any kind of company, Never just assume that the amount taken from your bank is the right amount. Always check the bank. We always check our banks to every penny, not just because we want to make sure that we've paid the right amount or having the right amount taken from our account, but also if you get a wrong amount to your account and it's over and above what you're entitled to and months go by and you can no longer show that you are entitled to that money, the bank might suspect that as fraud and worse still, they might suspect it as money laundering. It could result with your account being closed down and your account and you being reported to CFAS, which is essentially a fraud prevention organization. They have a database of individuals who they suspect to be involved in fraud. And then it can make it virtually impossible for you to get even a bank account or any kind of line of credit after that, just because you might have received a payment that was over and above what you were entitled to in the first place. So I thought I would share this very quick tip with you. So share this with somebody that you think might fall victim to this kind of thing. Or if you are or you know someone that is in this situation where you have a third party taking payments on your behalf from essentially your customers, you really ought to make sure that this is being done properly. Otherwise, you might end up in the firing line as well. So please remember to subscribe and thank you for watching.